the Nigeria exchange closed on a negative note amid sell offs and buy interest as the benchmark all share index uh, depreciated by seven basis points. The Nigeria exchange all share index closed at 47,251.93 points to reflect a decline of 0.07% from the previous trading day and a year to date return of 10.62%. Meanwhile, the market capitalization decreased by 18.56%, uh, and uh, that's uh, the 16.56 billion naira, actually. At the close of markets on Monday, 21st March 2022, the stock exchange market value currently stood at uh, 25.4 trillion naira at the end of the trading day. The market breadth closed to negative as Guinness led 15 gainers and 22 losers, topped by RTB Briscoe at the end of the day session. The stock market has advanced 4,535.49 basis points since the start of the year. And now let's uh, take a look at the stock market summary for the day. That's for yesterday. Uh, we see the oil share index uh, closing at 47,251.93. That's a decrease of 0.07% uh, at uh, 4,485 deals. That's an upward swing of 4.57%. And then the volume traded was uh, 213.57 million. That's a decline of 64.38%. The value traded was 2.68 billion naira. And then the market capitalization stood at 25.47 trillion naira. All right, to analyze this with us this morning is Ambrose Modion. He is the Chief Research Officer at Invest Data Consultant Limited. He analyzes and talks to us about what happened at the market yesterday. Thank you so much for joining us, Ambrose. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Now, let's look at uh, the close of the market yesterday where we saw Guinness uh, leading 15 gainers uh, with 10% to close at uh, 71 Naira 50 Kobo. And uh, of course, uh, we see that uh, some form of uh, increase in their, in their activities. What would you attribute this to? Yeah, actually, if you look at the market uh, performance yesterday, I will tell you that the negative sentiment or sell off of profit taking is still in the market as the investors are looking to the trigger that will come at the end of uh, this quarter, especially the last trading days of the quarter, knowing that uh, this uh, company that had the same year end will be making their financials available. But I also tell you that, you know, when the NPC meeting opened yesterday, you know, the market was low, and you saw you know, a lot of stocks on the loser chart and the beginner side like yesterday, especially mm -hmm. in the midday. But as the market proceeds, you know, investors also start taking position in them. Um, there's some stock that they see value, especially those that pull back, that have created opportunity for them to buy. Then for me, those the uh, backing hunters are credit going back to the market. That is why you saw about uh, 15, you know, gainers, uh, you know, against the uh, 22 losers. But at afternoon yesterday, we were seeing almost uh, just three gainers against 13 losers. But before the day runs out today, because of the question, my you know, position taking also came in. But not because people are also looking at what is happening in Europe. But the good news is that if now that the president of Ukraine has demanded that he, you know, he wants to negotiate, you know, he wants to do a negotiation deal with the, you know, with the Putin, the president of uh, Russia, I think so gradually we might see peace returning back to that uh, region, which also will be a plus for our market. But because of the oil price that is on the offside, it's also like a kind of giving a what we call a um, pressure on inflation. And which at the outcome of MPC meeting yesterday, the fact of all this uh, into you know, their decision. And that's why they left the the, uh, the interest, the whole commodity with the policy rate, which is the NPR, unchanged. Another you know, instrument for monetary policy. For mm. me, they see that it is better for us to drive our economy than trying to fix it by kind of uh, you know, you know, deflating what we have achieved. For me, it's a good decision at this point to just watch the part of what is happening in Europe and at the same time what our economy will do between now and end of uh, you know, the second uh, uh, half of the year. For me, it's a good one, but the market has switched now. There's no cause for alarm. If you remember, I've said it often and often in our program here, that as far as the market is still on a distribution space, until it comes down to the decline in test where panic will come. This means mm -hmm. that people are taking profit in and out. But once the market crossed down the 40, 47,000 mark, that is where panic will come. But as far as we're looking forward to what I said, any around the corner, now the outcome of MPC meeting is a kind of a support for the equity market because at the last... Um, no, 15 market, like that there was a missed yield in the 15 market. 
that is that at one of these MPC meetings also be a trigger for what for equity market because mm-hmm. rate will not change. That means at a short time the return on the fixed income market will still remain low compared to the inflation that is taking up, which wants to send them to more negative position. I expect that funds will try gradually start moving their way to equity market, especially those companies that have their no fundamental and also at the root to release more earnings news. Another news between now and at the first of uh, March, I see another kind of uh, activity in the market. For me, anybody that's in, in the market now can take advantage of this program to position in gold and sand uh, stock against the mm. uh, uh, end of the quarter and also uh, in the second of the uh, first quarter result in April. Yeah. Mm. Well, we see uh, the market trending bearish, especially with 22 losers surpassing the 15 gainers. Uh, do you see any form of a, a, a twist or turn in the uh, in the activities? Do you see the bulls taking over uh, over time? Yeah, well, the bull is on you already because I will tell you this MPC meeting is one of the factors that you know, kept the market in this kind of mode, and also the panic selling was seen because of uh, what is happening in Ukraine. I said if the president of Ukraine now can say, you know, he demands for a negotiation deal with Putin, he knows that peace is what we need. If that deal goes through, and also now our inflation rate you know, is on a pop direction, and MPC meeting, they, they left uh, the rate on change. It tells you that if it income uh, no window will be a bit tight, for them, they will look at that way they can, the way they can make money in a short time. And if you can make money in a short time, it's an equity market. Because even if we are looking at the world of uh, fixed income market like a KGB, your turn out to the is less than uh, 6%, less than 5%, no return. Whereas equity can give you 10% in a day. And if you are in a good stock that has a dividend paying uh, policy, you're going to pay dividend. And I think for me, that should be the attraction in the equity, equity space now. That means, as from today, now that the FCC meeting, yet we saw the outcome after the, uh, the, uh, the governor gave us the community that yes, the demand on change. That was what you know, changed the investors' uh, sentiment and the uh, decision making in, you know, in this field. Yeah. Mm. So, how do you think investors should position themselves uh, for these uh, activities? No, actually, I, I have just said uh, earlier that, you know, in any matured market or in an environment where people understand how to invest, which you are trying to invest data to give Nigerian investor education, you don't want to see earnings of a company for your position. You look at what has happened in the sector of where the company is 